Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here at Weather Man Plus, and welcome to the first day of August. Now, from what I can see from the information is that our tropics in the Atlantic is going to start picking up and pick it up rapidly once we go through the middle of August, definitely towards the end of August. And this is right during the beginning of our peak season. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. I try and do as much of an early warning as I can, especially during hurricane season. And we are literally just getting right into our hurricane season, right in the beginning of the peak is the beginning of August, all the way through the middle of October. This is where our strongest chances of tropical activity to get some very strong hurricanes. Matter of fact, Hurricane Ida, major Hurricane Ida that we had a couple years ago happened towards the late end of August. So August is gonna start picking up. Now, an important factor that's going to play a part in our hurricane season is our NAO, our North Atlantic Oscillation. Now, when you have a negative phase in the NAO, the tropical Atlantic and Gulf Coast has increased numbers of strong hurricanes. So when you look at the latest information, according to many models, but mostly the main two, the Euro and the GFS, you can see when you look at your NAO, your North Atlantic Oscillation, this is a GFS that as we go from August 6th, now remember I always showed August 10th we're going to have an issue and later in August we're going to have an issue. Until then there was no worries in the tropics. Now from August 6th all the way towards August 15th, we are going into a negative pattern right where these hurricanes start getting stronger for the south and the Gulf Coast. You can also see this on the Euro, the EPS, Ensemble Prediction System, which is their medium to long range, that they're showing the same thing, even stronger negative pattern and going possibly all the way towards the end of August. So when you take a look at some of the model data, you can see right here on GFS, as you go right towards August 10th through August 12th, you get this big high pressure block right here in a North Atlantic oscillation. That's where that comes from. And when you get this block, this allows a lot of storms to train and swing around to the west. Now this right here is a 6Z run. And you can see right there, you start to get a low pressure swinging around. And this one shows that going into the Gulf potentially a strong hurricane and this has been trending and i know i don't need to go through the temperatures everybody knows that everything is on fire above average temperatures going on in our gulf our caribbean just in the atlantic period now take a breather this is starting to look at 10 days out so this information will change do not take this to heart please i will keep you updated now, according to the Euro, starting in 10 days, keep that in your mind, this is 10 days and beyond, guys. Euro can start seeing a tropical cyclone headed to the western MDR, our main development region. Now, this starts in 10 days right around August 10th, and it starts forming up and going to the west with possibilities of multiple areas this wave could go and go into the west. Now, this could easily go into our Gulf. It can go into our western Caribbean. It could swing around to the southeast of the U.S. It also could swing around this high pressure and stay in the Atlantic. Now, you can look on multiple runs with GFS and see that it has been trending with GFS. Please take this with a grain of salt. GFS has not been right yet this year, but Euro is seeing possible formation. And with a negative NAO, we really need to start taking August very seriously guys so as you look at one run you can see it swings right around that high pressure block and it comes right on in bringing a low pressure system and it strengthens up and goes right towards the southeast of the U.S. by Florida and the Carolinas as you look at another run you can see you still have that high pressure block and it's still bringing all this low pressure favorable environment all the way into the Gulf of Mexico still going to the west on this run. And then we have the latest run, the 6Z this morning, showing it going right into the Gulf of Mexico. And this is starting to look just like Ida a couple years ago. And if you actually take a look on that run, you can see the precipitation is rolling around this high pressure and swinging it right to the west. And that's why that run is showing those potential impacts. You can also see it here on your vorticity, on your 500 millibar. So we still have that cold front coming that I showed you all about. But right here, you're starting to get a Azores high, a high pressure forming by the Azores. But this stretches out as we go into that negative NAO. 
You get a high pressure block, then you get a Bermuda high, where the high pressure starts swinging towards Bermuda. And all this precipitation, some of it breaks off on this model run and swings all the way around because the high pressure is going clockwise. And it brings it right on back around towards us. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be our outcome. What I'm saying is when we have a high pressure block from a negative NAO, these storms could form up very quick and be very sneaky. Matter of fact, when you look at the, all the members and see what your outcome could potentially become, you can see in a few of the members is showing this possibility of this low pressure swinging around and forming up and being potentially a threat. And it's showing it in multiple models, guys. Now, it's not trending in every model, but it is showing it in multiple of these ensemble runs showing where the potential impacts are and a lot of them are focusing on florida towards the southeast another factor that's playing a role when you look at your unfavorable and favorable environment when you have sinking air or rising air you can see as we go towards august 10th we start getting favorable environment moving into our gulf and our western caribbean and this continues as we go through august a strong chance for a lot of lift for the whole month of August for some tropical cyclones to form up and maybe come towards the Caribbean and the U.S. I've always showed this was a strong period that we was going to have and it looks like it's showing still true guys. We have a lot of favorable environment for the month of August. Matter of fact, when you go to Euro and you look for a chance for a tropical depression starting around August 8th, you can see we start getting favorable environment and chances for something to grow. Now we're looking literally at 10 days when this tropical wave could be headed towards a Western MDR. And so far, the Euro still has it going on that Western push, guys. It didn't hold its strength, but just like on the last tropical cyclone, it kept updating going further and further to the west. But what we can take from this is the path. So far, it's showing it will start for forming to the west-northwest and headed towards the Bahamas in that direction, which tells me that we're going to have a Bermuda high swinging everything in that direction. Now, just to give as much information as I can, the next seven days with National Hurricane Center don't have anything. Of course, this is only the next seven days. These two still are not doing anything to anyone. Now, since it's 10 days, it's still too far to see any model data possibilities from the Euro. But you can see with the cyclone locations on the average that you can see that Euro is showing that all these possibilities is going to start swinging around chances for formation. And you can see the exact same thing on the GFS just one day sooner that this will happen a little further northern. But Jiro is showing it's going to be a little further southern. So both of them is showing formation will start happening either a little further to the north or a little further to the south. And usually in August, this is where our development goes, either in those regions a little further north or a little bit further south going into our Gulf of Mexico. So both locations are still possible. And as we go through September, which is literally our strongest month, guys, it starts intensifying on the same locations. So we do need to keep our eyes on the tropics. But thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your families. I just want to do a real short video, give you all an update on what's going on in the tropics with the information that I can see in the data. We're starting to go into a strong pattern where a lot of cyclones can form, guys. So we'll keep you updated on the tropics. Remember, we do have storms coming to the U.S. first, so we'll update you on those as well. Now, today I want to read to you Psalm 17, 1 through 5. Hear the right, O Lord, attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feign lips. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence, let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shalt find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. Amen. God bless you all. Have a very great 
Tuesday out there. I will keep you updated on the severe weather we have coming to the U.S., but also what's going on in the tropics, because I can see it's going to start blowing up very shortly. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he always keeps y'all safe every day of y'all life, you and your families. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep us safe, Father, as we go through another hurricane season. I'll see y'all in the morning.